What's up guys? Welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial to show you guys how to improve the battery life on iOS 11. A lot of people have been complaining no matter what device you are on with iOS 11 that it drains your battery life a lot quicker than iOS 10. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of fixes and a couple of tips and tricks on how you can improve that. So let's jump right into it. So I have iOS 11 installed here on my iPhone 6s and like I said a lot of people have been complaining about the battery life of iOS 11 and I'm going to show you guys how to remedy that in this video. Now before I begin this is actually if you do not want to buy a battery case obviously the easy way out is just to buy an extra battery pack. A lot of people do not want to do that so this video is going to focus on the software itself and how you can expand the battery in the actual iPhone itself without a battery case. If you do want a battery case however I do have a review I'll link it in an annotation right there for you guys to check out of one of the best cases I've used used on the iPhone. Now the first tip I will give to improve the battery life of iOS 11 is actually to update to the latest version of iOS 11, depending on when you're watching this video. Right now the latest version is iOS 11.0.1 is the latest public release, so the latest version of iOS 11 will improve the battery no matter what, so definitely upgrade to the latest version. Now another tip is in general with the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch, you are going to need to make sure that you're letting your device power all the way up when it's plugged in charging, and then when you unplug it and you're using it, try to let the device go as close to zero battery as possible. This is actually what calibrates the battery. If you're pulling the plug out when it's at about 50% or anywhere in the middle, it's going to mess up the calibration of the battery. So make sure whenever you plug it in, allow it to charge up as close to 100% as possible. And when you unplug it, leave it running all the way down to zero as long as possible. This will ensure you get the best battery life out of your device possible. Now an easy tip to actually save battery is to turn on low power mode. To do this, all you have to do is go into settings, go into battery, there's a section called battery, and turn on low power mode. Now your battery will turn yellow, and your battery will be using less power because it will not be using as many animations, as many services. It runs on low battery constantly, so this is an easy way to save battery on your device. Now also in the battery section, you can actually see which applications are using the most battery, so that'll give you an idea of what you are doing with your device and how to remedy the battery. And you may also get suggestions from iOS 11 on how you can lower the battery usage, so that's definitely a good thing there so utilize those as well. Now if you do have a lot of photos or videos or applications you are going to want to free up some storage on your device so definitely go ahead and delete some applications that you don't need in wiggle mode by clicking the X there, uninstall those and delete as many photos and videos as possible. This will allow your device to save power just in and of itself which is a good thing. Now another option to save battery is in the settings application. Go into general, go into background app refresh and go ahead and turn that off. You can also choose individual applications to turn off. This will prevent these applications from refreshing in the background when you're not using them, which definitely uses power if you are not using those applications. Now an interesting feature in iOS 11 is if you actually scroll up from the bottom here and you click Bluetooth off, that actually does not turn off Bluetooth. You can see that it just says Bluetooth is not connected. So to turn off Bluetooth completely, you need to go into the settings application and go into the Bluetooth section and then go ahead and click off. You'll see that once I do that and I go into the control center here, it will say Bluetooth is completely off. Now the same goes for Wi-Fi. So if you want to save some battery, definitely turn off the those settings in the settings application as opposed to the control center. Now another easy way to save battery is in the wallpaper section. Just make sure that you go into the wallpaper section and if you want to actually save battery, set the wallpaper to actually be still instead of perspective. Auto brightness can waste some battery on iOS 11. To turn this off, go into general, go into accessibility, go into display accommodations, and you will see auto brightness. Now turning this off will definitely save battery and you can always change the brightness from the control center by simply going to the brightness section there. It's not too hard and it does save some battery. Now the location settings can also waste battery. To turn those off, go into privacy and then go into location services. Here you can turn off location services completely if you don't want Apple stalking you or you can turn off individual applications to never if you never want them to use the location data and this will save you battery. Now the same goes for system services down here at the bottom. You can turn off any of these that you don't need such as ads or alerts. I wouldn't turn off emergency SOS or call network search in general but for other things like ads or suggestions, you can turn those off to save battery. And the same goes for Siri and search. You can go into Siri and search and actually scroll down and see all the applications that Siri is indexing. If you don't want these to be used, click on one of them and just go ahead and turn it off. That'll save battery as Siri will not search those when you use it. Now an obvious one is to actually turn off notifications for applications you don't use. Go into notifications here in the settings application and you can choose which application
notifications you want to turn off. For example, App Store, you can go ahead and turn that to off and you'll save some battery life. Now in the iTunes and App Store section of the settings application, you can actually go into video autoplay and turn that off to save some battery as well. Applications will not play their videos automatically in the App Store. You can also turn off the automatic downloads in the iTunes section to save even further battery. Now if you go into cellular in the settings here and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see an option that's called Wi-Fi Assist. If you go ahead and turn this off, it will save battery. This basically allows you to jump back to cellular, but your device is scanning if the Wi-Fi network that you are on is a weak connection. If it is, it'll jump you to cellular. If you turn that off, it won't waste battery scanning for that, so that'll save a little bit of battery. Now you can also turn off Wi-Fi calling in this section, which will definitely save battery when you're using calls. Now in the general, then accessibility section, there is an option to reduce motion. If you turn this on, it will save battery. This actually reduces animations and certain things in the operating system when using it to save some battery. Now if you don't use the health application on your iPhone, you can go into privacy, then go into the health application, and you can actually make sure that apps are not using your health data to save some battery. Now finally, in the privacy section, if you go into the privacy section, you'll see a section actually called advertising. Go ahead and click limit ad tracking. This will prevent advertisers from tracking your location, again, saving battery. So overall, those are my tips on how to save battery in iOS 11. Again, like I said, the latest version of iOS 11 and 11.1 will improve the battery, so definitely upgrade your device. And if these tips do not help, I would recommend actually buying a battery case. I've used them in the past, and I did recommend one for you guys in my earlier videos, so definitely worth it if these tips do not work for you. Anyway, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up. Definitely appreciate that, guys. I also have my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus website page, and Instagram all down there in the description, so it greatly helps me out. Be sure to follow those. As always, guys, hopefully these tips help you out. Thank you for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.